Hello everyone! Today, we are on our week 6 for second quarter on Grade 10 Science. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the share button. Our topic for today is about the qualitative characteristics, orientation, type, and magnification of images formed by mirrors. By the way, I'm Ms. Karen, your science teacher. In the previous lesson, we learned about the electromagnetic spectrum. You gained an understanding of the different electromagnetic waves and their benefits. One of the most common among these electromagnetic waves is the visible light. In this lesson, you will study two of the properties of visible light, the reflection and refraction. A closer look into these properties will be done to different observable examples and experimentations using mirrors and lenses. As you go along with this lesson, you will be able to use the laws of reflection and refraction in order to describe and explain how images are formed by mirrors and lenses. Have you ever seen your reflection in a mirror? A reflection is the bouncing off of light rays when it hits a surface like a mirror. We have two types of reflection. First is the specular or the regular reflection, which refers to the reflection of light on smooth surfaces such as mirrors or a calm body of water. The second type of reflection is known as the diffuse or the irregular reflection. This is a reflection of light on rough surfaces such as clothing, paper, wavy water, and the asphalt roadway. To learn more about reflection, here are the some terms that you have to understand. Incident ray. Incident ray is the ray of light approaching the mirror represented by an arrow approaching an optical element like mirrors. Reflected ray. Reflected ray are the ray of light which lifts the mirror and is represented by an arrow pointing away from the mirror. Normal line. Normal line is an ima imaginary line labeled as N that can be perpendicular to the surface of the mirror at the point of incidence where the ray strikes the mirror. The angle between the incident ray and the normal line is known as the angle of incidence. The angle between the reflected ray and the normal is known as the angle of reflection. Now we have two types of or two laws of reflection. The two laws of reflections are first is that the angle of incidence and the angle of reflections are always equal. Second, the incident tree, the normal at the point, and the reflected tree all lie on the same plane. A mirror is a smooth reflecting surface, usually made of polished metal or glass that has been coated with metallic substances. We have two types of mirror. First is the plane mirror, and the second one is the curved mirror. Under the curved mirrors, we have the concave and the convex mirror. For your learning task 1, image in a plane mirror, stand in front of a plane mirror. Is your image exactly the same in size as you are? Where is it apparently found? Now, raise your left hand. What hand does your image face? Is your image erect or inverted? Is it real or virtual? So to form an image, we require at least two rays from the object which meet or appear to meet at a point. In the case of a plane mirror, here we have three images for better clarity in the ray diagram. For the ray starting from point A and traveling in a horizontal direction towards point E, the angle of incidence is zero, and hence it retraces its path. Similarly, the ray starting from A traveling to point C follows the law of reflection. 
when these phase are produced backwards, they appear to meet at point E and B. Now, this image is known as the virtual image. Do you know what is the difference between real and virtual images? Real image is the ray of light actually meet after reflection, while virtual image appears to meet but not actually meet. In real image, it can be obtained on screen, while virtual image cannot be obtained on screen. Real image is image in front of the mirror behind the lens, while the virtual image is the image behind the mirror and front of the lens. Real image are generally inverted, while the virtual image are generally erect. For your learning task 2, mirror left, right, reversal, using the following alphabet chart with an in a piece of paper and a plain mirror, do the following. Place the alphabet chart in front of the plain mirror. Identify all capital letters in the alphabet that can be read properly in front of the mirror. Now, write at least three words all in capital letters that can be read properly both with a mirror and without a mirror in front of it. Now answer the following questions. First, what are the letters of the alphabet in capital letters that can be read properly in front of mirror? Second, think of words in capital letters that can be read properly both with a mirror and without a mirror. What are these words? Third, write the sentence below. NSP is the best policy on a clear sheet of paper in such a way that it can be read properly in front of a mirror. Now, these are the characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror. It is virtual. It is direct and of the same size as the object. The distance of the object from the plane mirror is the same as the distance of the image from the plane mirror. And here are the properties of an image formed by plane mirror. The image of plane is virtual. The image is laterally inverted. The image is erect. The size of the image is the same as the size of the object. The distance between the image obtained is the same as the distance between the object from the mirror.